And good evening, I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. From your local election headquarters, State Supreme Court Judge Scott Del Conte releasing his orders for how boards of election, boards of election, need to proceed in the race for the 22nd Congressional District. And Christy, in his ruling, he was not happy with the boards. Yeah, the judge making it clear it is not up to him to declare a winner between Congressman Anthony Brindisi and challenger Claudia Tenney. That, he says, in the hands of the voters who've already decided. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live outside State Supreme Court in Syracuse to explain more. Um, Andrew, explain what the ruling says. Christy and Jeff, the justice wrote it best with this quote. It is more important that this election is decided right than that it is decided right now. For him, that doesn't mean a full recount, but it means that these boards of elections for whom he placed a lot of the blame have a second chance to go fix all of their mistakes. And he laid out step by step what these boards of elections need to do as soon as tonight. And we have those steps from the ju judge's ruling. He says boards first should inspect their offices and secure rooms for any stray or uncounted ballots. They then need to take all of those ballots and correct the record keeping errors and properly mark challenged ballots right on the ballot or on the envelope instead of using sticky notes or spreadsheets. They then need to include uncounted ballots to count them, including more than 50 that might be in Shenango County found in the last week. And then all of the boards of elections and the candidates' teams need to return to court on December 18th. That's when the judge can finally begin ruling on disagreements over each challenged ballot. That process was supposed to happen weeks ago, but instead uncovered this entire mess. Neither candidate was willing to do an interview with us since this ruling came out. Both campaigns did release somewhat unhelpful statements. Both candidates still think they'll be victorious when this is all said and done. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew, thank you. Follow all things happening in the 22nd Congressional District race. There sounds like a lot to come. Plus, a roundtable discussion with me, Andrew, WIBT News Director Jim Emke, and WUTR anchor Thomas Fleming on the race and the future of this district. It's all posted for you at localsyr.com.